So welcome to this interview. Tell me more about how it is very crucial and important nowadays to have such a platform like Adipac in uh, facing all the energy transition challenges and come up with really pragmatic uh, solutions. Well, first of all, ADNOC, the United Arab Emirates, has played a critical role in terms of leading the dialogue in terms of an energy transition future. And uh, in particular, not only His Royal Highness, uh, 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 Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, but also uh, His Excellency Dr. Sultan al Jabra have been key figures globally in trying to facilitate a dialogue to get us to a point where we actually have an energy transition plan that works, one that not only sort of uh, uh, adheres to our desire to get to a net zero future, but also reflects an affordable reality for today. Transition plan still facing lots of challenges. How do we get to a net zero and target in a realistic way? Well, I think we have to sort of take into consideration the fact that, you know, oil demand, oil and gas demand is going to be around for quite a while. It might have plateaued in some countries like the U.S., Europe, and elsewhere. It's still some pretty significant appetite uh, uh, for demand. Uh, I know in my country that will continue. Uh, meanwhile, we look to see in the global south, uh, and their consumption rate is nowhere near where it will be if the growth that we expect to come out of the globe, gro global south takes place. So we have got to accommodate that. So we've got to, number one, take away the disincentive there is to invest in conventional energy. And at the same time, those of us in countries like the UAE and the United States and elsewhere uh, that uh, are continuing to drive forward in these innovations that will get us to an alternative energy future uh, can do what we do, while at the same time the Global South can enjoy the decades that we enjoyed uh, with more conventional energy. Do you see partnerships and collaboration um, going forward and this is what we need or what looks to the other world that it's more of a fragmented um, new reality that some countries are creating? How do you see this and the importance of partnerships nowadays? What's really important that we have partnerships, and I think it, it really starts with coming together like Adapec does and Adnoc takes the lead in, uh, in allowing uh, sort of the acceptance of the fact that we all come from different places with different priorities. Uh, certainly in the United States, we have different priorities going forward. UAE brings its own uh, priorities. And, and if you look at countries like India and Vietnam, look at the whole continent of Africa and the potential that there is for growth in those markets, we have to recognize they'll need access uh, to energy that they can afford and, and shouldn't be lectured to by others to say they must invest half their GDP per year to get to where we want them to go. I think that there needs to be a greater understanding and a, a place like Adipac, I mean, it is a great convening opportunity to help facilitate that understanding. Thank you.